So I got these tablets from eBay in a box of untested devices, and today we're going to go through these and see if it was worth it. Now I got these tablets along with a bunch of phones for only a hundred bucks, and I already went through the phones with you guys. I also got these two Kindles from the thrift store. Unsure if we're going to have time for these, but I'll throw them in this stack and maybe we'll get to them. I love buying stuff on eBay because you just never know what you're going to get, and sometimes you get a really good deal, so I guess we'll see if we got that today. Okay, a few of these look familiar. If you guys notice anything in particular, comment below. This is going to be a good time. Before we jump into these tablets, I'm going to charge each of these up and that's going to take a minute, so let me go and do that real fast. And while these are charging, I want to show you guys something that I think you'll find useful. As you can see here, I have quite the collection of SD cards, and that's because whenever I record a YouTube video on an Android phone, I just store it on an SD card. I accidentally formatted one of these SD cards and lost a bunch of video from back when I was first starting this YouTube channel. They're precious videos. Thankfully, not all is lost. With the help of today's video sponsor, Wondershare Recover It, I was easily able to recover those accidentally deleted videos and photos from my SD card. Recover It also excels at recovering files lost to accidental deletion, formatting, or corruption. Whether it's photos, videos, or documents, Recover It scans and restores files from any SD card. To restore my SD card, all I did was plug it into the computer, select it and recover it, and then let it scan. And in just a few clicks, I was able to recover everything. And you could do the same from standard files to Ultra HD, 4K, and even 8K videos. What makes Recover It even more powerful is its ability to recover data from other devices too. Hard drives, USBs, crash computers, NAS, and even Linux systems. With support for a thousand plus file formats and a 99.5% recovery success rate, if you want to get your lost data back, I left a link in the description where you can download Wondershare Recover It for free and try it for yourself. Thanks, Wondershare. Let's get back to our video. So it actually took me two days to charge these, so uh, <laughs> now that we got them charged, we're going to jump right in. Now, first off, we've got an Amazon Fire 7 tablet, and it's got this sticker that says The Grid. Originally, I thought this was an arcade in Utah, and they had, like, lost and found items on eBay, but it's actually a thrift store on eBay. They sell a bunch of electronics, so I hope these Fire 7 tablets all turn on. There's a bunch in this pile. <laughs> Classic. Going into an update. Well, what I want to do with all of these Fire tablets that power on is try to install Android onto them. Unsure if it will work, but I'm going to try, so I'll show that in a few minutes, so be sure to stay tuned. Now, this one actually looks pretty new. It's got a little bit of smidgies on the back, and the USB-C port's kind of cracked up, but it doesn't, it doesn't look too horrible. Well, this isn't too terribly old. It's the Samsung Galaxy Tab A, and these were released in 2020. The only downside is there's some sticky smudge on the back. And RIP Verizon, thanks for going out the other day, bro. Who's on Verizon and lost service the other day? Raise your hand and comment below. Okay, starting Android, and... <sighs> It's going into an update, so we'll come back to this later. Okay, let's find a good one. I don't know which one... Wait, hold on. Is this the Amazon... This looks like the newest Amazon Kindle Paperwhite. Okay, if this is what I think it is, this is like 160 bucks. We made powers on, tested, it's recent. Yeah, M2L4E, that's the newest Kindle Paperwhite. These are like 160 bucks on Amazon. Okay, that's crazy. I'm excited for this one, but we're going to come back to it. Let's go to... The Alcatel. I, I think I've seen this before. This is an older ver Oh, I got some smidgen up. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, I cleaned it off with the wipe. Let's get this thing started. Alcatel. It's a pretty lightweight tablet. I like the way this thing feels. Nice, uh, nice grippy texture on the back. Yeah, I think it's called a. It's like one of the A series. Yeah, A30 tablet, 8 inch. So I, I think this was a budget tablet. Let's see if we could find any micro SD card treasures. Yeah, nah, this one's empty. Dang it. I will say if you find a stray micro. Micro SD card in the wild. Don't don't go through it, please. You'll you'll be scarred for life. Okay, I got this thing set up, and there was no locks or anything. She looks pretty. Before we look at the operating system, I do want to test the camera. I'm taking a picture of my S4 zoom here, and what? Wow, actually, the cameras. I mean, five megapixels has never looked better. Let's see the the operating system. Any guesses? I have I have no idea. Okay, Android Seven. Huh. 
Didn't know that. I'm sure you could root this thing and then have a, a pretty decent tablet. You got the micro USB, you got an aux port, and I think this would be good for a younger kid. So coming back to that Fire tablet, wanted to show you guys that it started up, it's not locked, and I'm actually, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to be able to install Android onto these devices. You might be asking yourself, why install Android? Well, I feel like these Fire tablets are just one massive ad. Not the biggest fan of Fire OS or the Amazon app store all these books and videos and crap i i'm just going to clear all of this out and install android but first i want to give you guys an update on this tablet now i was able to set this up but it said it was being managed by a company uh, but i was able to set it up now will i log in with my email and everything probably not i mean i'm not surprised it's from ebay it's so common to get stuff there that's locked or defective but i think this will be a good practice device to try to root with that being said the camera Camera on this, although it's only eight megapixels, I gotta say I am rather impressed. It's also got three gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of internal storage, so not all that bad. Okay, what's next? What is this crusty, gross-looking off-brand As Pen? What is As Pen, bro? This thing is as light as a TV remote, but I'm so excited to turn this thing on. Okay, what what are we dealing with here? I want to see this turn. Oh, uh, the screen is disgusting, but we got this thing to start up and Okay, we're not working with much here, but this is a this is a blast to the past. It looks like one of those tablets you get at Walmart for $13. I have no idea the operating system, but oh, wait a minute. Temple Run and Minecraft are both on here? Blessed be the previous owner. Okay, before we check to see if we can launch Minecraft, let's look at the operating system on this, because again, I have no idea. Oh, wow. Android KitKat, baby. Ugh. I love it, dude. And yes, you can play Minecraft Pocket Edition on this thing. That's good stuff. Wow, I suck at Minecraft and the controls are difficult on this. But one other thing I wanted to show you guys before we move on to the next. We still got a trial version of Office Suite on this thing. I'm trying to build a PowerPoint right here, but it's way too hard. John Joyd. Please subscribe. I don't know what else to put on a PowerPoint. What dude. is with the ketone sounds? It sounds like I'm typing at a million miles an hour, bro. <laughs> subscribe. -y. I mean, there it is, guys. That's the As Pen. They even left their website on the back of the tablet. And if you go to the website, it says that it's dangerous. I mean, check it out yourselves. Okay, so we've got so many Amazon Fire tablets. We've got one, two. That's the paper white. That's not it. Okay, three. Uh, we got this big one. I'm not going to count. Okay, we got four of this model of the Amazon Fire tablets, and I want to see if they all turn on. I mean, if they all have power, they should not be locked. Okay, this one turns on. This one turns on. Oh, this one was already powered on. Okay. I must have done that by accident, and they all turn on. Okay, this is good stuff. I think we've got four tablets that we can convert over to Android. And then I've got like one iPad and this one says that it powers on, it's tested and reset, but it's got an iCloud lock. And honestly, there isn't anything I can do with this. Unless for some reason I have this outdated iPad with broken parts and I need to swap out these good parts, but I don't see that happening. Hello, Mr. Amazon Fire. We didn't look at you yet. Let's make sure you can power on. This one's a little bit bigger than the others. And I think this would be a great one to convert over to Android. Okay, yeah, I had this plugged in for quite a while and it's not powering on. I think this is a piece of trash unless you guys have a good idea of something I could use it for later. You know, go ahead and comment below. Okay, getting to the bottom of this pile, we've got uh, TCL. This, it, actually, this tablet looks pretty nice, but uh, it says it's Google locked. We may as well turn it on to see if the sticker's correct, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know if it will be, but we may as well check. You know, this makes me think Apple versus Android. If you have an Apple device with iCloud logged in, which you essentially have to, and you lose the phone and someone's trying to log in, that person has like zero chance. But if you lose your Android phone and the person who picks up your phone, all they have is this lock screen here. Although I'm not super familiar with these processes, if someone does get a hold of the device, I don't believe it's very hard to bypass all of them. No, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I mean, I gotta say, we did pretty dang good. We've got the dead Amazon tablet, this one that's Gmail locked, and then the iPad that's iCloud locked. Those are the only three that we really can't use at all. 
These ones here are good. And we also got all of these Fire tablets that we're gonna install Android onto. We're almost there. I wanna show you guys this last tablet. This is the Paper White, and I just wanna make sure it turns on. It says it powers on, it's tested, and reset with no issues. Okay, here's the moment of truth. I think this is the power. Oh, the green light came on. Oh, dang. I've never really used one of these, but the screen is lit, and wow, that feels really nice to, to handle. Okay, well, I guess it's starting up. You wanna know what the worst thing is on the planet is paper-based stickers. Why do these exist? Because this happens every single time I try to remove one and it should be illegal. Okay, I, I digress. At the end of the day, we got this thing to turn on and it's it's literally like in, in great used condition. There's no issues on this thing. Now, something like this, I feel I feel like this could get me reading a lot more. I do read a lot. But it's, uh, it's not in book form like this. It's like Reddit and other articles I see online. And I do read a ton. And look at this. It's got Portuguese. Basic Portuguese. Forgot we we even had this book. My wife bought this for me forever ago in digital form and I was looking at it on my phone. Actividade. Guys, I really need to learn Portuguese. My wife is from Brazil. She speaks fluent, and we go back to Brazil often, and I don't speak Portuguese. Well, hopefully this thing can help me get there. Okay, guys, so we've got the bad tablets on the left and the good tablets on the right, and I would say the $100 for the cell phones and these tablets combined was well, well worth it. Definitely. Okay, so I know you guys are wondering, can I install Android onto this Amazon Fire 7 tablet? And in the process of making this video, I actually found that you can for any device that is as old as a 2014 version. Now, in the description, I have linked a full video tutorial on how to do this, but basically you put your Amazon Fire tablet into debugging mode and then use Fire Toolbox to install the Google Play Store and Google Play onto the Fire tablet. It'll also install Install a version of Android onto the Fire Tablet and you can get rid of all the applications that make a Fire Tablet a Fire Tablet. So I'm literally running Android, literally have the Play Store, and here I'm downloading Geometry Dash from the Play Store. You can do this with the new Amazon Fire Tablets and those tablets actually have pretty powerful processors, which in all honesty make it a really good option for people who want to have the benefits of a tablet, but not specifically a Fire Tablet. I've linked a video tutorial guide in the description and I will also be making a video in a week or two walking through this whole process. It's very, very simple. If you want to see it right now, go down into the description and check it out for yourselves, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see other videos like this, be sure to subscribe because I release these videos every single week. Thanks for watching. See ya.